Hey, Smokers, Druaga1 here, and welcome back to Power Mac G4 Adventures. Today, we're going to be giving this bad boy some Wi Fi via this airport compatible Wi Fi PCI card. Looks pretty cool, except it's completely brandless and, well, yeah, completely generic. I have no idea whether or not this is going to work, but we'll uh, put it in anyway. So since we went totally overboard with our upgrades in the last video, we're going to have to put this in between all the other cards, and because we don't really have any other room for it. Airport better get cozy with video card and USB card. Fuck! There we go. Airport card is installed. You need to finish this by screwing the antenna back on. So this is what the back of the Power Mac G4 looks like now. We've used absolutely every single PCI slot available. And this is what our little Wi-Fi antenna looks like. I don't really see this getting very good of a signal, and I really don't even know if this is even 802.11g, but we'll find out very shortly. Ah! Okay! Okay, moment of truth. Not configured. That's better than it was before. Network. New ports detected. New network ports have been detected. One of them is airport, including the PCI Firewire slots that I installed in the last video. Pretty cool. Our network settings have been changed by another application. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Stop! Fuck! All right, let's take a look. Hey! Now, the main problematic thing is that this apparently only supports WPA Personal. Uh, one of the problems might actually be that, uh... Oh, I'm updated all the way. Huh. Huh. Well, never mind. So, I guess I'll put the password in and, uh... We'll get on the network. Well, uh... This looks promising. There's, a. Uh, Check mark. Don't fail me now, 104 Fox. If you'll ever frickin' launch, Jesus. Okay, so finally it comes up. So this is a 104 Fox. Special version. Custom tailored to my type of CPU. Oh, does Google work? Disregard previous autocomplete. Oh, great. Well, it says it says connecting, so good. It's gonna be good, right? Problem loading page. Uh, oh, SSL. My clock time is incorrect. Clearly I'm not actually in the 1960s. We can remedy this very easily. Anyway, 2015. Saturday, July 25th, 2015. Well, that's great. It already set the clock time automatically. That's good. That means I have internets. Ta-da! Google! So, uh, Wi-Fi confirmed for working with the airport and paddle wireless card, which I have no idea where it came from. Uh, we're only about two meters away from the router, and we don't have full bars. 
So that kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Of course, we're not going to have Flash Player. And if we do, I'm going to be pretty damn impressed. Damn it! Since we can't use Flash, I'll well, we use HTML. Latency test. It's not good. We're pulling down about... One point nine one megabits per second. Download. As for the upload, I really don't want to know. Because I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty terrible. Four hundred and fifty kilobits per second. Ha 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 ha. And for those of you who are curious, this is my hardwired internet speed. It's still not very impressive considering my location and choice of service providers, but uh, it's definitely better than uh, what we're seeing on the test here. And you're probably also wondering how I even managed to upload any YouTube videos. The answer is very slowly. So now you're probably not wondering one more thing. Does it work on Mac OS 9? <laughs> Every time I click this damn Apple menu, it teases me with its promises of airport. But now I can actually make it happen. <laughs> So this just about wraps up Power Mac G4 Adventures Episode 4. The generic brand airport compatible wireless card seems to work just fine, although it's a little bit sluggish. It only works on Mac OS X, and, uh, well, it is what it is. Now, I was going to include a Mac Tubes demonstration on the Power Mac G4, but as of May 10th, 2015, he stopped development on his software. Apparently, Google has changed the YouTube API again, and MacTubes is now broken. Perhaps permanently. So, uh, the YouTube potential for 10.4 machines is looking a bit grim. I tried uh, playing back some YouTube videos without Flash and without MacTubes using 10.4 uh, Fox's HTML5 capabilities, and it was not promising. I was pulling down a good zero frames per second. So I wouldn't say it's exactly watchable. Uh, you can listen to it though. The, the audio seems pretty contiguous, but beyond that it's pretty yucky. So has the potential of the Power Mac G4 been reached? Perhaps. All of its PCI slots are filled. It pretty much has all the RAM it's ever going to get. I know there are aftermarket CPU upgrades for these guys, I think. So we might be exploring that in the future. I really have no intention of upgrading this any further. There's not too much more we can do aside from use it as a 10.4 and Mac OS 9 testing machine. So this has been Draga One. Have a nice day.